congratulations on this Bradley Cooper Lady Gaga song because I think it's fantastic that Bradley Cooper has the number one song. It's crazy. I mean, he's not known for singing. No, and and also because you know Bradley, he's always he's on the show a lot. Like he's such a modest guy. Like he's not. I don't get the fact like some of us like they're googling our chart positions. Like that's not him. Right. So like every now and then when I see it's like number one, it's like and. It's not like we're super close, but I'll send him a text and be like, do you understand, like, you have, like, the number one single in it? Like, I've had the number one single, like, once before in my life. Once with uh, Bruno, Bruno Mars. Mars. Right. Right? Yeah. So, like, I'm like, you and Bruno are my muses. Like, you are obviously <laughs> the only way I can get to number one, Bradley Cooper singer. It is crazy, because I do know Bradley Cooper, and yeah. I remember when he first started shooting A Star is Born, I was invited to his home. Yeah. He says, I want to show you something. He showed me some clips of him singing in the early stages of filming the movie. Yeah. And he says, I want to know what you think. Because, you know, I was a judge on America's Got Talent. You yeah. know, some, <laughs> you know, people want to know my thoughts, Robin. <laughs> so I said to him, you know, and I wasn't blowing smoke up his ass. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty legit. Yeah. I said to him, I got to tell you, that's you singing? He goes, yeah. I go, I think people will believe that you can sing. Yeah. I mean, it sounds really good. It's It sounds really good. There, we did some stuff like early on in the studio. I mean, you know, Gaga produced really most of it. It's like her vision. But we were in the studio. He was wanted to see what his voice was like, explore it. We recorded like a, Had a he Green ever Day sung song. Before? Did he ever, when he recorded the Green Day song, could he pull it off? Yeah, it was great. And then yeah. he did like this radio head and this lovely falsetto. I mean, I have these, t- <laughs> if I ever get hard up for money, I was, you know, TMC. Yeah, I've got the <laughs> yeah. lost Bradley Cooper demos. <laughs> right. But um, no, and he does. And the other the thing is he loves music so much that i think it was like such a labor of love to like get it right like when i sometimes see movies like i'd be like oh that's not really how they do it or right you know for, like and he just like made sure that it was just like bulletproof like the, him playing it's so legit tell me how that works so who contacts you does lady gaga contact you and say look i'm doing a star is born she created all the music but working with someone like her like 80 percent of it's in her head like she you're just there to like you know, maybe offer a chord, a lyric, but... She's a genius. She's a genius. And the voice, the songs, the visions. So we were, I had worked with her on our album, Joanne. Right. And uh, we had got close work, working on that. I knew her 10 years ago when she just started, like when she had just come out with Just Dance, but hadn't seen her for 10 years. We worked together on Joanne and then... You're a good looking guy. I imagine these women, uh, they all come on to you too, right? I mean, do you have to bat them off of the stick? No, I was married. And, no. Oh, you were? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Sorry. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, I'm just imagining, you know, when you're, when you're working with a woman. Yeah. And you're that intimate and you're listening to her voice and, you know, someone as powerful as Lady Gaga, I figured maybe it turns romantic or something, you know? I, I turn into like uncle or dad real quick. So you know? that's kind of, yeah, I think so. I'm so, so sorry. I know. <laughs> right, I'm sorry you're so professional. Uh, um, <laughs> 